Hi kids! Isang matatag na araw. I'm Sir Noy and welcome to Mat Bilang. In this video, you will learn how to describe the rule used to generate a given simple pattern. But first, let's have a drill. Let's have the skip counting. Skip counting by 2. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Skip counting by 3. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. Skip counting by 5. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. And skip counting by 10. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Now, let's have a review. Tell me what number comes after the given number. The given numbers are 2, 4, 6. So the number comes after 6 is 8. And the number that comes after 8 is 10. How about this one? The number that comes after 15 is 20. And the number that comes after 20 is 25. Now, let's learn the number patterns and rules. But first, let's identify the following terms. Pattern. It's a sequence that follows a certain rule. And a rule, the operation or addition, subtraction, multiplication, division used to form a pattern. Sequence is a set of numbers, shapes, or objects arranged in order. Term, each number or object in a sequence. Here are the steps. To describe the rule used to generate a given simple pattern, follow these steps. Observe the pattern carefully. Look at how numbers, shapes, or figures change from one step to the next. 2. Identify the sequence type. Check if the pattern follows addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, or another rule. For increasing, addition and multiplication. For decreasing numbers, subtraction and division. 3. Write the pattern rule. Express the rule in words or a mathematical equation. Let's describe the rule and determine the next term or terms. The given numbers are increasing. The rule must be addition or multiplication. Using the given first three numbers, we can identify or describe the rule. 2 became 4 because we just added 2. And 4 became 6 because we just added 2. That means the rule is, just add 2 to the previous number. So, so the next term after 6 is 8. And the next term after 8 is 10. Another 1. 3, 6, 12, 24. The numbers are increasing. So, the rule must be addition or multiplication. Let's try addition. We just added 3 to 3 to make 6 and 6 plus 6 to make 12 and 12 plus 12 to make it 24 or we just double the number double means times 2 so our rule is multiply the previous number by 2 so 24 times 2 is 48 another one 50 45 40 35 the numbers are decreasing so the rule must be division or subtraction. Since 50 minus 5 is 45 and so on, that means our rule is to subtract 5 from the previous number. So the next term is 30. Another 1. 1, 3, 6, 10, 15. The numbers are increasing, so the rule must be addition or multiplication. From 1, we just added 2 to make 3. From 3, we just added 3 to make 6. From 6, we just added 4 to make 10. From 10, we just added 5 to make 15. That means our rule is to add 1 more than the last added number, plus 2, plus 3, plus 4, plus 5, and so on. 
So the next number is 21 because 15 plus 6 is 21. Let's try. Describe the rule used in a pattern. Divided by 2. Plus 3. Minus 10. Now, let's have the shape patterns and rules. Describe the rule and determine the next term or terms. Since we have two triangles, one circle, two triangles, one circle, what comes next after circle? The rule is to repeat the sequence. Two triangles, one circle. So the next two terms are two triangles, another one. 1 square, 2 squares, 3 squares, 4 squares. So the rule is to add one more square each time. So we will just add 5 squares. Another 1. Blue heart, blue heart, red heart. Blue heart, red heart, blue heart. What comes next? The rule is to repeat blue and red increasing the sequence each time. We will just draw four hearts. Blue, red, blue, red. Let's try. Describe the rule used in a pattern. A. Repeat green circle and red triangle. B. Alternate black and green, adding one more square each time. Activity time! Activity number 1. Describe the rule and determine the next term or terms. Here are the answers. Activity number two. Describe the rule and determine the next term or terms. Here are the answers. Always remember, to describe the rule used to generate a simple pattern, look at how the numbers or shapes change from one to the next. 
Check if you're adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing a number each time. For shapes, see if they repeat, change color, grow bigger, or follow a certain order. Once you find the pattern, describe it in a simple sentence like add to each time or repeat circle, square, or triangle. Practice by looking at different patterns and saying the rule out loud. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and like my Facebook page. Happy learning!